It's the Red Flex 4-in-1 by ProClear Aquatics. Let's take a look. Ah! All right, everybody. So today we're going to be looking at the Red Flex 4-in-1 sump built by ProClear Aquatics. Now, I finally got myself my very first sump. Since day one in being in the hobby, I've done my own DIY, building a sump out of a fish tank or doing that Corian sump. But this time I said to myself, you know what, I want to do some research, go online, check out sumps. And I went with ProClear Aquatics. First, uh, there's many reasons why, but first I want to let you guys know, they have a lifetime warranty on their sump. Lifetime warranty. If you guys know of any type of equipment in the aquarium hobby that gives you a lifetime guarantee, let me know. Put it in the comments below because I have yet to see anything like that. So let's talk about the sump. First, I want to give a special thanks to Nick over at ProClear. Um, I went back and forth with him on emails what sump would work for me, and this is the Red Flex 4 in 1 300 series. They have all kinds of sumps, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, you, you should definitely go check out their website. This has not been released yet, so you might not see this on their website, but I'm going to go over it with you now. And guess what? This is not the only sump that I'm going to be showing you guys, so stay tuned because this is for the basement system. I have a whole completely different Red Flex for the upstairs 75 that you guys are going to definitely want to check out. So the backstory is, is I got a hold of Nick, um, and luckily by chance, about two weeks after talking to him, uh, we realized that he's going to be at the Aquatic Experience this past October, and I was there, and I got to meet him in person, and him and his partner Jeff educated me like crazy on all their equipment, and especially this sump. So we are definitely going to be going over everything. I want to show you guys as much as possible. I'm talking a little fast because I've been super excited. I've had this sump for quite some time now, so let's take a look. Um, and I should tell you guys... Um, it's really, it should be called the endless in one because there's just, I've looked at it for the past three weeks in my basement and I've come up with so many different ideas. But anyway, so this is their design. This is their DIY put together and, um, it's awesome. Really, really sleek looking sump. This thing looks 10 times better than any fish tank sump I've ever built. So let's start over on the left hand side. This is where the overflows come in. Now, they have this nice red acrylic lid that covers up your sump sock section. Now, they have these overflow tubes, and this is one of their special designs. So they have the tube that comes down, and it goes into this acrylic cylinder. This is their silencer. So when your water comes in, if you have any kind of air bubbles or splashing, this will make it absolutely, totally silent. And you can see there's room underneath of it for anything you want to put under there. Um, I do have some ideas on what I'm going to put here. So anyway, the water comes down, goes into the silencer, comes back up, and overflows into these three four-inch filter socks. In case you're super lazy or you forget, there is an overflow port right here with their logo. So the water will go past the sump socks if they get filled up, and they will go into your sump section and continue onward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these socks out and I want to show you guys something that's in the back that may or may not be in other sumps. I have yet to see them, um, but you can see these little red tabs right here. That is a heater holder and that is pretty cool. You don't have to worry about your heater, you know, coming off the suction cups and falling somewhere. You can place it right there it stays off the, the base of the acrylic, out of the way, and you're good to go. So you can put your heater right there. They have this nice acrylic post here for any kind of probes. And for your dosing lines, you can cut these, put them wherever you want. You can put them up high, you can put them down low. You might use these for something completely different, so you might want them to be submerged into the water. But then what they also have is they have these nice little inserts now this just you know these are just a little thing that they do i'm sure they have extra acrylic laying around after all the cutouts so 
they put these nice little inserts on here, make it look nice. Now this, this is for wires, for your probes or for your heater. So you put your wires in there, when you got everything in, you swing the door shut, and you put the little uh, nylon or Teflon or whatever you want to call this screw in there, and put that on there and you're good to go. Keeps all your wires nice and neat. I love the neatness. So, this is your skimmer section. Plenty, plenty of room. Um, you know what, let me take a second and back up. So, I want to give you guys the measurements of this sump real quick. The length is 37 inches, the height is 16 inches, and the depth front to back is 14 and a half inches. I didn't want to forget that part. So it's a 37 inch long sump. This thing is plenty of room for all kinds of stuff. So you got your overflow lines with your silencers into your three stage sump socks, emergency overflow, skimmer section, heater mount, probe holder, dosing holders, then your water will be going through this section. Now look at these things. You're wondering, what are those? What are those? These are what really caught my eye the very first time I was looking online at sumps. I thought these were absolutely brilliant. These are media chambers. Let me take them out and show you guys exactly what they do. Now these are optional. These you can leave in or you can leave out. It's up to you. So I'm gonna put them right here. So you see this little sliding door? You can slide this door out, fill these with carbon, Fosgard, anything you want. Put whatever you want in there. And then you can stack it and the water flows through it from end to end. It's like having a, a carbon reactor, media reactor, but no plugs. And it's just pull it out, change the product, put it back in. Now if you want to, you can leave it out permanently. Sorry for the shadow. This section is pretty big right here. Let's get a tape measure in case you guys are wondering. So this section is about 10 and a half inches, and I believe it's by three, I've already measured it, by three inches, and the actual depth is seven inches to this lip right here. So you could do whatever you want. You could throw some you know, media down in there, some marine pure spheres, load it up with stuff, or just leave it empty, it's up to you. I'm actually planning on throwing some marine pure spheres in there and loading it all the way up. So then, another option. They have this little trap door here. This is for adjusting your flow. You can either have it totally blocked off so that the flow comes directly this way. You can open it up so a portion of it goes straight through and a portion of it goes into your other section here. So it's totally up to you. You guys can make it completely wide open. So, so it's, it's totally great for options, whatever you wanna do. That's why I call this the endless in one. I like endless in one, but anyway, this is their foreign one. So your water flows past your skimmer, past your probes, past your dosers, into your section here. And like I said, if you have it totally blocked off, then the water will be coming in through this section. You can see these slots right here. The water will flow in through here into a random section. Now I call this a random section because look, you could do anything you want with this. If the water's coming in through here, it does come with this frag rack, okay? A nice white acrylic frag rack, and it has two different tiers of where you can put it. So if you wanna leave it here or put it up here, it's totally up to you. You can completely take it out, turn it into a refugium section. You can also use this as, say, a temporary holding tank for new fish. Let me, let me take this thing out for a second, hold on. There we go, that's a little better. So you can use this as a holding system for fish. Now, what you could do is, you know, we all use um, the light diffuser. You can put light diffuser in here. You can use their rack if you want. It's totally up to you. Now, like if, like I said, if you wanna put a fish in there, temporary holding, you put it at this top line so the fish can't get out. If you have a small fish, you can replace this with a piece of light diffuser and it will hold the fish in there and uh, you won't be able to escape, but that's, that's pretty awesome. Now, down here, you have this adjustable, removable door. You can either take this off so that your water flows from the backside into your refugium section, we'll call it, and then it can either go straight through this sponge. Now, you can take this sponge out if you want, put whatever you want in there. You can throw bags of carbon in there if you want, if you're not using the back section. Again, 
and listen one. So I'm gonna probably choose to leave this here so that the water comes up and overflows over this chamber. And I'm probably going to be putting some pinky pads in here, possibly taking this out, putting an egg crate table in here. Um, for now, I'm sure I'll wash this sponge out and leave it in here to collect any uh, debris before it goes down through here and into the return pump section. Return pump section has a very good size. I'm actually gonna be putting other equipment in here besides just the return pump. Now, you wanna put your return pump in here. Again, they have this nice little slot where if you're using soft tubing, you can put the tubing here and your cord right here and then close it, put it in place so it doesn't fall off. Or if you're hard lining it, you can just throw a bunch of cords in here, whatever you want, an extra heater, you name it. It's the endless in one slash red flex four in one. So that's it. Um, it also does come with uh, rubber hoses to connect to your drains. Uh, I just didn't put them in the picture here, but they do come with rubber hoses. Again, check out their website. Sorry this video was so long. Um, I could actually talk about this for another probably hour. I have talked about this with so many guys. I'm getting ready to install this, and next time you see this sump, it will have water, a skimmer, a heater, media. This is this sucker is going to get loaded up. So, thank you to Pro Clear Aquatics for coming up with this brilliant, crazy design. Um, it's just it's fabulous. This, this sump is ridiculous, and like I said to everybody that's still watching. I'm gonna see a hashtag Pro Clear Aquatics. This way I'll know you stayed to the end. I love to know how many guys stick to the end. Tell me what you guys think about this sump. Tell me if you were at the aquatic experience and you saw the Pro Clear Aquatics booth and if you went over there and talked to the guys. And again, stay tuned because the upstairs Corian sump is coming out. I'm gonna be putting the Red Flex Reef sump in there and has the matching Red Flex Auto Top Off Reservoir. So I'm signing out. We're a little over 12 minutes. And, uh, you know, thanks again to everybody. And again, hashtag ProClear Aquatics. I'll talk to you guys later.